Area secure. Warning. You've disavowed a division and unlocked its rogue. Hey, hello everyone. This is Clint Flair Wu. This is another division build video. Um, please check this video out. This video is insane. This is the best way to build Firecrest. If you want raw damage, this is the build. For me, this is the best PvE, PvP build out there for Firecrest. I've used Firecrest for a few years. I've really, really dabbled. I've worked tirelessly to work out which is the best and the most preferred method how to run Firecrest. I've used skill haste which is fantastic, it's really good, um, which is 4% skill haste, I've used 50% skill haste um, and it's worked really really well for me but this this is raw damage, raw power, we're talking 32k damage to an elite en enemy. Uh, it's insane, it's insane. I've even clocked 35k damage um, this is no damage to elite mods nothing like that because this number could be raised further furthermore this is fantastic but check this out see what you think feedback is always in the comments box this is my firecrest classified five piece and I'm using an inventive backpack okay if, if nobody knows what inventive does it increases your skill power by 15% while at full health Okay. So if you, if you if you're not sure how Inventive fully works, what I would do is check out the video. Check out I've popped it um, when I've got full health, and I've popped it when I don't have full health, and you'll see the difference in the skill power. You'll see the difference in the damage it does to NPCs. Um, the key is if you're going to drop that turret, just ensure that you're rocking full health. If you are, you will you will do some more damage to the NPCs. Um, Preferably elite enemies, which we'll go through later on in, in the video. Um, but we'll start with the weapons. Okay, I'm rocking a house, as always. My favourite weapon. I've got plenty, as you can see, in my inventory. This one I'm rocking has the talents Talented, which kill a target with this weapon increases skill power 15% for 20 seconds. The effect does not stack. Killing the new target refreshes the timer. My second talent on the house is Competent, which... Weapon damage is increased by 10% for 15 seconds after using a skill. And the baked in exotic talent is card counter, which one half of the magazine does 20% increased damage, the half which, which deals increased damage flipped after 15 seconds or when the magazine is empty. Okay, now mods I'm using on my SMG, obviously I'm using magazine size with critted damage rate of fire. My optics I'm using critted damage, headshot damage and critted chance. My small muzzle is critical damage, critted chance and headshot damage. My underbarrel is critted damage, accuracy and reload speed. Okay. My secondary, I'm using a tactical ACR with a gear score of 213. Why am I using that? I've crafted this and I've crafted this for a few particular talents which will aid me increasing my damage output on my turret okay so the talents I'm using destructive now armor destruction values increased by 15% when using this weapon okay my second talent is talented killing a target with this weapon increases your skill power 15% for 20 seconds does not stack kill a new target refresh the timer um, we know what talented does now but the bread and butter is ferocious which 
damage against elite and named enemies increased by 10%. Okay, so you can hopefully see where I'm going with this now. Now, that will give me a free 10% extra damage to elites, to NPCs. Um, this is fantastic, it's really, really good. Um, what I would do is I would kill an enemy with my house. I would switch to my house, ensure you're at full health. Yep. And then I would release my turret. When talented is baked in, it'll activate Ferocious on my ACR. That will activate an extra 10% extra damage to elite enemies. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's an extra 10% damage. Okay. When we go through the gear on the build, we'll look at the damage to elites. Uh, percentage, we'll look at the skill power and so on and so on. But at the minute, Ferocious, key talent, it will give me 10% extra damage to elite and named enemies. Okay, you cannot use Ferocious uh, given I'm using 2961 of firearms. Um, it has to be the third baked in talent, which will activate regardless of the, uh, the, the attributes needed to unlock it or it needs to be a lower gear score weapon uh, and I've used a lower gear score weapon because I rarely use my secondary anyway um, I can get it as my bait and talent anyway I've got talented and I've got destructive which will give me an extra bit of damage from the turret to NPCs okay we can go for the mods on the weapon and again it, it, I don't I only use it to activate ferocious but we'll go for the mods anyway uh, crit, crit chance right fire on my magazine Stability, crit damage, crit chance on my optics. Crit hit damage, stability, crit chance on my muzzle, under barrel, crit damage, accuracy, stability. Okay, that's my ACR, my uh, sidearm, don't you? It's just there for show. Uh, but it's 93R, uh, expert and predatory. Okay, start with my chest piece, and it is a fully maxed. Uh, Firearms, sorry, Firecrest Acquisition Vest, which is health and skill haste of 9%, uh, ammo capacity as the miner. The mods I'm using on my chest piece are electronic skill power, electronic skill power. Yep. On my mask, it is again baked into electronics. The major attribute is skill power. My minor attribute is damage to elites. The mod I'm using on this one is again electronic skill power. Mini pads, uh, electronics again. This is a fully baked electronics build, so this is what we're going to talk about throughout the the gear. Uh, the major attribute again is skill power. My own attributes is. percent The mods I'm using are electronic skill power yet again, and turret damage of four percent. My holster is a completely fully maxed in terms of the in terms of the gear stats it just needs my armor to be a little bit better to get that fully optimized i'm running skill haste and the mod i'm using is turret damage four percent on my uh gloves i'm using uh, uh it's skill haste nine percent smd smg damage 12 percent 17 percent crit hit damage and it's baked into electronics my inventive backpack I uh, again it is electronics with skill power and burn resistance ideal deal world I would maybe look ammo capacity but I'm happy with burn resistance uh, the mods I'm using on this is electronic skill power and you guessed it throw it down four percent twice okay that's the set we'll look at the stats now so we talked about damage to elites so I'll go back on my character, we'll look at it from the tactical ACR. Again, all that's irrelevant, you won't need this. What we're looking at is damage to elites, and that's 38%. Enemy armor damage is 38%. So that is an extra 38% damage to elites and, and named enemies from my turret. It's awesome, it's really, really good. So we'll look at a base damage from a turret shortly, but what you're talking about that is a free 38% damage to elites, which is a, a lot of extra damage. We'll look at a percentage and how much it, that, that's worth very shortly, but that's the one. Skill haste in the build is 25%. 
I could get an extra 15% from mods, but I've opted for power, I've opted for damage, which is skill power mods. Um, that will get an extra kick, an extra raw damage output, which what the build is all about. Let's talk about the abilities. Obviously, I'm running the turret. Uh, base damage is 22740. That will drop if I'm below full health because of inventive, yeah, which gives you an extra 15% extra damage at full health. Now, this has been nerfed beyond belief for the last couple of patches, but this still hits like a truck, given you build it right and you play right. You're very quick moving, you're very swift. This will help and this will really, really benefit against rogue players, non rogue players, newbies. Try this. This is fantastic if you build it correctly. This for me has killed me many, many agents over the last couple of years. Um, and when you see the game, the gameplay, you see a, sub, a couple of salty players, you see a couple of new players, and they just don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. So, base damage at full health, 22740. My second skill is support station life support. Now I'm getting a base healing rate of 17205. Given I've got talented on my house and my tactical ACR, that will boost that a little bit. Give it a little bit of a kick, a little, little bit of a punch. Um, that gets my healing rate a little bit quicker. I could have opted for booster shot. I could have opted for um, uh, maybe seeker mines, but no, nope, I've opted for some keep me alive um, support station. I love it. Definitely my preferred choice out of every skill out there. Okay. Talents I'm using it is critical save. Yes, yeah, so use a med kit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Uh, I use this on all my builds, it's always there. I'm using Strike Back, which will reach a low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. Wildfire, again, this is the bread and butter of, of, of the talents I'm using. Apply and burn to any target triggers a 30% chance uh, per each target in 10 meter radius. So there's a good chance, there's a fit what's pretty much a 30% chance that I can get guy, you know, a number of enemies on fire with my turret, which is a key talent to use. And then lastly, is on the move, I'll kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15% for 10 seconds. Given my toughness is extremely low, I'm running at 320k, so which is, t I think, believe 2961, it is very, very, very low. So you have to be quick, you have to be sharp, you cannot stay, stay grounded and stay put in, in one place for too long because you'll go down, you will die. So you, you need to make sure, um, if you do take an enemy out, you, you do pop that on the move, and that procs, that gives a little bit more survivability. Plus you've got the life support uh, support station, which again is gonna help because it's gonna keep giving you 17,000 minimum of health per second. This is the bill. Um, we're gonna go into the DZ and we'll show you some some footage. Um, it, it hits so so hard and it surprises so many agents but for me this is the best Firecrest build I've put out to date. 410,000 skill power hits like a truck. I can't optimize it anymore. Um, we'll go through shortly uh, in the video in the clip next which will show me you'll see my how inventive procs and how much extra uh, skill power I can generate from this but it's brilliant. It is really, really, really good. Try it um, in a team. It, oh, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. Um, you keep people alive. You play as a support role, but you can deal damage with your turret and a hell of a lot of damage as well. And if you get that, that extra kill, you're going to proc inventive. You, you, what's the full health? You know, proc talented. So you give more more health back to your to your team and also deal more damage to NPCs. Uh, and players. So take a look at the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, obviously thumbs up will be fantastic. Uh, a like and subscribe, brilliant. Um, I plan to deliver as much content as possible over the next few months, building up to Division 2 next year. Again, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you. Take care.
Let's have a look. 35, 200. Easy. And a classified as well to, to boot. Lovely. Pulse of Nomad. Very so, secure. Let's have a look. 463, 904. Goes back down to 22, 740 is base. But what we're looking at against yellow bar NPCs, 35, 200 to 30. K per tick. Awesome. Awesome. And all I did by doing that is switch to my tactical ACR. Proc talented. I've got destructive. And I've also got ferocious. Ferocious being the key to get the extra 10%, which lifts my uh, damage to elites to 38%. Happy days. Um, once a proc talented, which will get me over 25 you look at another 10k which will get me to 35k so 35k damage per tick with this build fantastic hope you've enjoyed